comes from the National Center for Science Education. It's called the Creation Evolution Continuum. And most people find themselves somewhere along the spectrum. So we're going to talk about the first group first, logically. These are the young earth creationists, or the special creationists. They believe that everything today was created by God with very little variation. Okay. So this first group are the flat earthers. Okay. And yes, they still exist. There's a website, the flatearthsociety.org. You can Google it. Um, they believe that the earth is flat, that the sun, moon, planets, and stars are just a few hundred miles above the earth. And they take as evidence for this biblical references to ends of the earth and quadrants of the earth. Logically, they also reject all modern science because you can't really accept that and any science. This is actually, they, they actually publish and produce things like this as, as instructional and educational models, maps and globes and things. So the second group are the geocentricists. They believe that the sun revolves around the earth and that the earth is stationary. This is surrounded by a dome called the firmament. For evidence for this, they use biblical references to the sun rising and setting, God walking on the firmament, a stationary earth, the earth shall not be moved, right? And they also reject all modern science. The last group are the young earth creationists. They believe that the earth is between 6,000 and 10,000 years ago, and that God created kinds of animals that have undergone very slight changes since then. Catastrophes are responsible for the geological formations and the fossil record that we have today. Unfortunately, that doesn't quite fit the data. Um, and they also reject all modern science. So going back to our continuum, the next group here are the old earth creationists. They are also known as the theistic creationists. They believe, they believe that the earth is ancient, that changes have occurred, and that God is personally responsible for them. This is what's accepted by most Christian faiths as official doctrine, by the way. So the first group here are the gap, cre gap creationists, or the gap theory. They believe that between Genesis 1-1 and Genesis 1-2, there's a time gap where the first creation that <coughs> took 4.6 billion years to get here was destroyed and then recreated in six 24-hour days. They believe, they accept the existence of a very old earth the existence of dinosaurs, very old geological formations, and the fossil record. The next group here, these are the day age creationists, and I thought this one for a long time too. Unfortunately, this doesn't fit the fossil record either. We don't see all the plants showing up at the same time and then all the animals showing up at another time. There's a whole lot of overlap there that would not make sense with that particular creation story. The next group, are the progressive creationists. And this is the most common group. Okay? They believe that the earth is um, very old, that it was created gradually with God creating kinds of animals at very specific times. But they reject a common ancestor. So they accept the geological age of the earth, the Big Bang, the fossil record, and microevolution. What they reject is macroevolution, which we've already talked about. It's not really logically possible to do that. So back to our continuum, this last group here are the evolutionary creationists. They believe that God created the earth, created all life using evolutionary principles, using science. They accept all aspects of science. They just think God took a bit of an active role in how he did it. So if we go back to this continuum, there's one more section down here, and these are the official evolutionists. The, the, the position of, of this group is that the world has changed through scientific laws. And that's pretty much it. They work in a system called naturalism. And there are two types of naturalisms. And it's very important to recognize the difference between these. The first is materialistic naturalism. They believe that science can only study the natural world. Therefore, any religious beliefs you have are independent of science. This is the actual realm of science. Science is considered a materialistic, naturalistic I, a philosophy or a concept, okay? The second are philosophical naturalists. And these guys believe that there can be nothing other than the natural world. They reject an, a, a belief in anything supernatural. Now that is an actual belief and not science. Now they're entitled to that belief just like anybody else, but it is a belief and not science. So when you hear anti-religious statements coming from scientists and other people, 
That is their belief and not officially science. So if we're going back to this continuum, the first group here are called theistic evolutionists. They're very similar to the last group. They believe that God created everything using um, evolutionary principles and that science is God's tools to bring about his plan. They accept all science. The second group are the agnostic, uh, are the agnostic evolutionists. They claim that it's impossible to know whether or not there is a God, but that to discount the existence of God is intellectually dishonest. They don't think it's important necessarily that there is a God. They don't think the question is important to their lives, but they don't dismiss it entirely. The last group, or perhaps the most famous groups, are the atheistic evolutionists. They claim that there is no God. This is the group that tends to be a bit more um, anti-religious than the other groups um, by a large margin. Really, you can actually accept evolution based on theological grounds and not just scientific ones. Thank you.